Hi and welcome to your Gold Market Update charts of the day for today. It's Monday the 5th of June 2023 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst. To lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, a strong session on Friday in Wall Street, despite that NFP jobs report smashing expectations to the upside, which many people thought would be a green light to the Fed. The market didn't respond like that. The debt ceiling deal has signed off and OPEC plus has raised oil prices through promising to keep to its production levels and the Saudis are going to reduce production in July by another million barrels a day. Uh, US futures mixed in Asia, Asian markets following that strong US lead from Friday. ASX with a 1% gain. Um, energy was outperforming early on, but we've got a fairly broad based rally. There's only a couple of sectors in slightly negative territory being utilities and tech. European futures are pointing to a positive open and the VIX hasn't been this low since February 2020, suggesting the market is very calm at this stage. Uh, we did see some movement upwards in the US dollar on Friday towards its recent highs. Pretty neutral in Asia so far. Gold has moved back to 1950. Again, that's pretty neutral today. Copper edged higher through most of last week and is testing 375 uh, and we saw oil gap higher on open this morning but really has pulled back to almost close the gap pulling back from the top of the recent range so opened up about two and a half percent to the upside and has just given most of that away bitcoin is slightly lower in asia it remains within a range and this morning we had some pmi data coming out of australia beating expectations we've got global services pmi coming across the wires throughout the day from the uk from europe from the us on top of that we've got the eurozone ppi german trade balance and u.s factory orders also due uh, later on this week, probably the headlines are going to be the RBA rate decision tomorrow, Australian GDP. Same from Euro and Japan. And we've got Chinese CPI and we've got US weekly jobs. Uh, fairly quite weak in the US compared to what it's been of late, but maybe that's not a bad thing. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. The Australian dollar is actually doing pretty well this morning. And you can see here, there is some strength against the Euro, uh, but not significantly. So it hasn't moved much since that open. So it's stuck just around this 162 level but we do think this creates a little bit of an opportunity as it's bounced along this what is now very established support on the 30 minute chart really since the back end of friday so we think a movement below 161.90 could precipitate some selling and possibly give a 50 to 60 pip move to the downside on the asx bld looks interesting it's traded within a fairly tight range of around about 20 cents for most of April and all of May, but we seem to have pushed to the top of this range on Friday and we've seen a breach of that range at 420 today. So it looks as though there's some buying pressure coming in. You can see on the back of that move towards the back end of last week, we did see some increased volume. Context is always important, of course, but you can see here there's plenty of potential upside. Uh, may get stuck possibly around this sort of 450 level, which is around about 6% to the upside, which for a stock in this sector is pretty good. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.